me. Hello, <laughs> party people. We are talking about the mummy. Everyone give their impression of uh, how you say the mummy. Yeah, my mummy. It's a mummy. Mummies. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Tame for all. <laughs> Joe Star, Lon, Spencer. Mummy. <laughs> uh, that's what we're talking about. Mummy. Momo. <laughs> uh, a film that came out in 1999. 20 Sorry. years old, Spencer. Oh, oh God. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and we're done. Um, uh, yeah, so The Mummy came out a long time ago. We made an honest trailer about it. If you watch to the end of this one, you'll see what we cut out of the honest trailer for it. Because mm-hmm. that's how this show works. Yeah. 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 It's uh, blockbuster summer. No? The beginning of Blockbuster yeah, Summer, which right. is our way of just having an excuse to talk about big summer movies that we didn't have an excuse to talk about. Yeah, pretty and much. And people have requested The Mummy over and over and over again. Yeah. Yeah, this is one that I did not realize there was a f- this fervent of a fan base. I always liked this movie, but I didn't realize like there was a whole generation of people like, this is a really key childhood yeah, 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 nostalgia yeah. movie for them. Yeah. I was 16 when it came out, and I liked it. I certainly liked it, and I remained very um, nostalgic about it. But I think you're right. What, what we didn't realize was that the people that are maybe 10 years older from us, this is like their Indiana Jones in a way. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. it's their, it is yeah. Indiana Jones. So, so it is their yeah. Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones, still a fine film. <laughs> yes, I, love, I, love I don't think that if the Indiana Jones films had a uh, screaming sand head in them that they would get any better. <laughs> no. no. You'd be the judge. I mean... <laughs> Out in a biplane. Yeah, there, cool. there's a melting, but that was a real it's melting not a head. Plane. Pro, no, that I prosthetic. That uh, was a real melting head. Yeah, yeah that was uh, someone actually built that. Yeah, and and ha- some PA hand squeezed blood through the eyeballs. This was in the five year gap where the the reach of Hollywood extended its grasp as far as visual effects went. Yes, um, <laughs> this the, that the limitless possibilities were not quite so limitless. Yeah, yeah. This is uh, this yeah that weird little stretch where whatever effects house. Did Mortal Kombat did everything, and everyone everything <laughs> had that slightly unrendered yeah uh, CD CD ROM adventure game look, you yeah. know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it just it's it was okay. People accepted you know this rougher kind of more cartoonish look, whereas today the demand is that it's much more photorealistic, and if anything kind of cartoony gets through, yeah, yeah. it's it's but you know, yeah, cartoony is deal. a fair word I think to describe this film. It's like a fun live action cartoon. Yeah. Yep, it's yeah. Um, people are big and broad and uh, crack and wise all around each other, and the plot is just like, get the thing! Oh, look out! If, <laughs> it, yeah. if it had come out maybe like five years earlier, there would have been a Saturday morning cartoon. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It definitely would have been. Like, with a really great Tailspin esque intro. Yeah. It would have been real good. Well, the, like, Rick O'Connell figure smashes through some yeah. crates. <laughs> oh, man! It's Rick O'Connell! Shoots everything. <laughs> no, stop shooting, man! Please. He's, he's got more stylized guns. I feel like in the what? show, but that's lasers it. come out of it. Yeah, yeah, something like yeah. that. It's Rachel Weiss status. in a dune buggy <laughs> <laughs> with the mummy catching net. Yeah. <laughs> it's also like it's like the perfect hybrid. <laughs> yeah. um, it's like also the perfect hybrid when those like blockbuster filmmaking got like big and epic and visual effects. It's the modern blockbuster in that sense, but it was enough of the old school mentality of like they don't think you're stupid because I was watching it and the first easily the first hour Mm -hmm. of this movie is all character development building out the the world building out the stakes setting things up that would pay off later getting you to like these people getting you to care about them and then the last hour is like mummy Mummy action action. and everything and it's and it's you contrast this with like the Tom Cruise one and it's just like night and day another Tom Cruise movie (laughs) um but it's like you look at the mummy like the the (laughs) grab yourself a cocktail this is gonna be one top gun of a ranch (laughs) but like the mummy the the mummy was like almost immediately mummy you didn't know about any of these people you just start in the middle of the action you don't get to know any of Mm -hmm. them and it's just like Tom Cruise he's in a plane crash. What? He's alive? Why? Yeah. Oh. And it's just not, you don't give a, you Here don't, comes you Dr. Don't care. Yeah, you don't, care, you don't give a crap about There's anybody. a larger world. Well, yeah, What's I mean, this world? The, the, the prime example is the mummy itself, himself, herself. You actually know who it is in this yes. movie. They give you the mm-hmm. backstory of who this person yeah. was so that when they come back, there's a little bit of meaning. In that one, who who is yeah, that you, woman? You she's know just, what to expect. I you know recall. what the plagues are. I don't think they I tell you. She's they, just, they must have told us. Like She was a... She's a mummy. Wasn't she like, trying to kill someone? She made a deal with the devil so that she could t- t- kill two people who were already asleep? I don't remember. Sure. Something like that, <laughs> okay. yeah. 
I think it, I think they use the name Anaxuna Moon again. Yeah, I think they make they make her the same fake woman from this movie. Yeah, huh? I don't well, know. They, I they gotta like get those mummy fans. Yeah, happy. that's the real. That's an Easter egg. The yeah. original lore, <laughs> the original fandom, the Egyptian <laughs> pantheon of gods. <laughs> <laughs> Shock gods of Egypt didn't work. Anyways, yeah. let's watch uh, 1999's Have you seen The that, Mummy, by the, way? the Honest Trailer. No, that movie's oh, insane. It's insane. Like the decision to just make half of the characters nine feet tall. Is oh, great. This I think it says a lot about gods of Egypt that I don't about remember. Summer blockbusters, <laughs> past and present. It's got Jamie this Lannister in it, but he's like eight trailers. feet, and everybody else is normal height. Summer. Sold. <laughs> pretty good. Pretty good. Sold. You've seen the classic 1932 Boris Karloff version. Doesn't ring nope. a bell? I have. Okay. <laughs> I have explore of Tom Cruise's <laughs> dark universe. Skip that one too? I have. So unfortunately. <laughs> it's time to revisit the only mummy film anyone under 80 has actually seen and enjoyed. That's wow. The Mummy. The Brendan Ooh, Fraser one. Mummy? <laughs> Rick O'Connell. Call the editor. The solution to every problem is to shoot guns at it. It's not doing any good. Uh, <laughs> every problem. <laughs> shoots the uh, sand pad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sand. He's shooting sand, man. <laughs> sand. It's just sand. He may not have a plan. You know who was talking about how hard it would be to hit he an may insect not have on the ground like that. Not if you're Rick. But Rick's armed with the ultimate <laughs> superpower. Pause. Not if you're Rick. We had, yeah, we not had a uh, not a debate, but our uh, our biggest critique, I think, of the film was that you have a name like Rick O'Connell. But everyone calls him O'Connell. Yeah. O'Connell. Rick. You Not Rick. Rick yeah. is way cooler. Action movie name yeah. Rick, but ever yet O'Connell. They're screaming O'Connell through the entire movie. Yeah. O'Connell's like a high school '80s nerd name. Like, oh, O'Connell. Yeah. Oh, the protractor stuck again. <laughs> yeah. Also, it doesn't. It's not an effective nickname. It takes longer to O'Connell. say. Yeah. yeah. Like just Rick is so immediate. I think Rick is too plain. You can't call him like Ricky. That doesn't sound yeah. right. <laughs> Rick. Uh, well, Rick would be perfect. It's a challenge because I like calling you Spinny, but logically, Spencer is just as long. It's just as long. We're not All saving any effort. Spence or just sp- sp- <laughs> I do sp- respond to sp- sp- but it's also, it's also <laughs> a term of endearment. It's not just to shorten it. I, I just I feel like That's why I call you Le- yeah, <laughs> like like Indiana Jones. Like they came, they took the time to come up with a cool name like, that reflects cool the character. Name. I feel like mm-hmm. those serials, like they always had. Names usually Rick actually like yeah. Rick Rick's a common Rick one. Danger, <laughs> but it should have been Rick there, Danger. Why wasn't it just Rick Danger? Yeah. I think we all it all just yelled Danger and everyone would get confused. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. the danger was already there. Plus Let's keep going. Plus that's his middle name. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Beat me to <laughs> Being Brendan Fraser. I mean, we also had a Fraser eyes. Fraser that John uh, debate, so we just recorded it both Fraser ways right and then uh, figured huh? it out later. I am going to kiss you, Mr. O'Connell. See, there's an O'Connell right there. Mm. Joining O'Connell Mr. for the ride Frazier is a crude is Arab stereotype. Toss salad and scrambled eggs. <laughs> and <laughs> some <laughs> arrogant white people. Hey, where'd our smelly little friend get to? Huh? On a quest to plunder another culture's sacred Yuck. artifacts. Together, yeah, they'll pause. unearth. Uh, we did have a discussion, not for the trailer, just amongst us, of how many... <laughs> <laughs> the movie that launched a thousand blogs. <laughs> the, mm. the pe- well, that's the, in a deleted the, scene. The, pe- the, the pieces that this film would have generated. Oh, were it oh, to come so out now. The hottest of takes. The wow. hottest of takes. Uh, and that pieces. said, it is a period piece, and it is. Britain in the 1920s <clears throat> and 30s, especially in its colonies in Egypt, extremely racist and mm-hmm. plundered yeah. all of yes. the things. So it's, it's not out of character for the times. Yes. It's it's not it's not yet. Yeah, but it is but playing also, it for giggles. But also it is playing for giggles. Out of touch for these times. <laughs> yeah, and, and it, it's just at no point does anyone, including the 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 local people, the Arab people in the movie, does anyone question that these white people have the right to just show up and take whatever they want from wherever they want? Like that's just taken as a given. Like, yeah. hey, if you go but into this, that was also the twenties. Right. If you go yeah, into this tomb, it, just just pull just pull down the stuff off the wall, take the books, bring them yeah. back to London with you. You're good. You'd hope at least by 1999, a movie could be like, hey, maybe some colonialism was bad, and like, <laughs> it, it, nah, that gets in the way. <laughs> Swashbuckle. Yeah, Do you want to buckle? We're gonna swashes? buckle these swashes. Or instead of having the the Arab character who serves as their guy oh, gosh, be yeah. the most gruesome, yeah. horrific yeah. stereotype imaginable, make that the guy who's like, hey, maybe you shouldn't just take all this. Worst stuff. stereotype yeah. of the summer of 1999. That guy or Watto, <sighs> or, oh. or everything else in the Phantom. Oh. Yeah, or the Trade Federation. Oh. Uh, tough. Three-way tie. Wow. Three-way tie. I think this guy takes it. Though. Tie for last. Because oh, they're I very much know. like. 
Look at our smelly Arab friend over there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. At least it ran a menace there, <laughs> aliens. It was pretty bad. <laughs> after, after the, uh, spoiler alert for the mummy, after the Arab character dies, they still make a fat joke about him in the next scene. Yeah, that's cold. <laughs> He's dead. A man that's is hard. dead. That's harsh. <laughs> Because they're like, well, how did he die? And the guy goes, did you see how he was eating? Like, <laughs> right. oh, you don't need to. The man's dead. You don't need to do they that. They were very callous. I mean, oh. a lot of the, uh, the, uh, the characters, the white people were also buffoonish. Really, everyone's kind of a moron. <laughs> everyone's in this an movie. idiot in this movie. But yeah. it wasn't like about their whiteness that they were buffoonish. They were giving them like, "Oh, you're Americans." Oh, right. like, Ugh. Ugh. yeah, you and your guns. <laughs> but no, this guy specifically just a uh, camel riding loogie hawking. Uh, <laughs> they and they Ugh. miss no opportunity. Every opportunity to make him up. He's barbaric. He's disgusting. Thieving. He's, yeah, he's got no literally world. smelly. He's a misogynist who's trying to molest people. Like. Every Every awful stereotype in one. Way to go, mommy. Yeah. All right, let's keep going. They'll unearth an ancient treasure, unleash an ancient curse, <laughs> and they won't let you forget for a second how ancient everything is. Ancient curses. Ancient burial site. Ancient Egyptian. Ancient Arab storytellers. Ancient booby trap. Ancient times. Ancient Egyptian curses. Yeah. Ancient secret society. Ancient mirrors. Ancient, ancient mirrors. <laughs> Watch not just a mirror. As they accidentally resurrect Imhotep, an ancient Egyptian priest who was <laughs> so hated yeah. by the pharaoh, yeah, he gave him superpowers? For he would arrive a walking disease, a plague upon mankind, an unholy flesh eater with plan. the strength of curse. ages, <laughs> power over the Ter sand, curse. and the glory of invincibility. What happened to murder? Does murder not work anymore? Hey, Stress. Yes. Wait, there had to have been a, a uh, Dragonstone type meeting where the Pharaoh was sitting down and like, I really hate this guy. Yeah. Like, we could kill him. I want him to die really bad. And somebody came up to us like, okay, well, there's a bit of a trade-off here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he could die really badly, but you're gonna make him into an unkillable god. Yeah. So that plans out, and the pharaoh's like, mm, mm, and then tell me more. Tell then, me more about this unkillable. Is god there a curse. lock and key yeah, on the yeah, coffin? We, we could, we could <laughs> seal <laughs> him into his sarcophagus. Lock the coffin. Just yeah. listen. Lock, we'll, it's fine. We'll hide <laughs> it. We'll hide <laughs> it. Lock the coffin, but don't destroy the key. Hide it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no one needs to know where it is. Well, no, we'll put the map in the key. We'll put, okay. the, we'll put the map to <laughs> the also, coffin the, in the key. You right? won't be able to wake him up unless you know the chant with all the right words. So should we just not write those down? Okay, but we'll split them into two books. Yeah. Yes. So uh, that said, is there anything else we need to cover? There's the jars, sir. You know what? Don't worry about the jars. I, I'm hungry. I'm gonna eat lunch. That's Just lunch. I don't know, figure out your yeah, jars. Pour some beetles on them. If like. someone should awake the mummy. <laughs> The the curse to kill him should be like on the next page. No, no. it different should be book. in a second. Also, in a different location, hidden book. Harder to find. But it, that yeah, also is locked. It was like they were planning like. In 3,000 years, we'd really like people to have to do a scavenger hunt. How long can we do today to guarantee that long after we're all dead, a bunch of people have to run around the Middle I East? I think this was an Oceans-type heist that the Pharaoh and the hotel were in on together, yeah. and they were playing the long game. Yeah. Yep. That's a long game. All right, yeah, let's let's uh, shoot that uh, film. I'd, I'd watch that prequel before I'd watch yes. Jade, Jade Emperor? Jade Empire? Dragon Emperor. Dragon, Dragon, Dragon Emperor. Empire. Yeah, yeah. Imhotep's Eleven. Yeah. Oof. Yeah. <laughs> Keep going. I think it was a long con. Strap in for the 90s answer to the Indiana Jones franchise that's set around the same time period in similar locations well, and employs together. the same combination of adventure, well, been comedy, passing, like, ships and in the night. There's, exact there's a lot characters. of fanfic about this. Really? Yeah. Oh, Rick, Rick and Indy? During my research for this, yes. Have there's a lot of stories where Rick and Indy meet on fanfic junk. sites. My I hope it gets spicy. Yeah. Was a very Sometimes famous it does. explorer. There is nothing you can possess which I cannot take away. It looks to it's me kind of like a dumbed down version of all of Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the secret of the Grail has been safe for a thousand years. A brotherhood of the crucifix. This is the one that really cracked me. to do anything to keep it safe. And for 3,000 years, <laughs> the Magi and the descendants of Pharaoh's The Magi and the Brotherhood of the Crucifix. Sword. But in fairness, those related. early movies were inspired by classic adventure serials, which were inspired by radio well, dramas. Listen to all we of continued these. our journey along Solomon's <laughs> Great Road, <laughs> which were inspired by pulp novels. So let the mummy be yet another reminder that nothing you've ever enjoyed is original. Rescue the damsel in distress, kill the bad guy, <laughs> save the world. <laughs> the hero always has to do that at some point so, yeah, in a movie yeah. now. It's yeah. just explain like, cop too. like here's how movies work and here's the part I'm going to play 
wink. Because yeah. <laughs> otherwise, it seems like you're not in on it. You otherwise, don't know. They're, yeah, they're so afraid that the audience is going to say this right. is just he's, this is so predictable that yeah. they're going to be like, we know it's predictable. You didn't dump yes. me; I dumped you yeah, when exactly. I said the thing yeah. first. Yeah. yeah, I think part of the problem is that uh, number one, Hollywood is progressively more creatively bankrupt. Uh, but the other thing is that because of the internet now, you, you people that we there's people like us that point out all the things. Whereas mm. when Indiana Jones came out, it was just like your grandfather in the corner going like, well, "I read King Solomon's Mind when I was a kid, and it's just a rip off of that." <laughs> but now everybody knows because uh, we live in a world where the, the the information of eternity is at your fingertips. Yeah, I guess so. I- I don't think it's any more or less creatively bankrupt than it was in 1990. Well, yeah, it kind of is. Have you seen the remake yeah. of The Mummy? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, I'm going with more creatively bankrupt. Yeah, 99 was a great year. Um, <laughs> this film, though, I, I give this more leeway to like call out its own kind of surfaceness than something that was aspiring to be like a, a horror movie or something. Yeah, like, this, this was The Mummy can silly. get away with being like, I'm the big strong guy and you're the mummy and I'm going to punch you in the yeah, butt. Yeah, and then he yeah. does it. This is still entertaining <laughs> on its own terms, just like Indiana Jones is entertaining on its yeah. own terms. Mm-hmm. It's not that it's similar to other things because everything is similar to something else. It's how much are you just straight up ripping off and not even trying to make you? I wish that's that Tom the Cruise mummy ripped off Indiana Jones. Me like, too. Steal from the best. Tom Cruise's yeah. Indiana Jones is like yeah. the most surefire box office formula of all time. Yeah. Like they messed it up somehow. Huh. Well, yeah, they they tried to get too much into it. Was just overthought. It was the Dr. Dark Jekyll. Universe was just over. Oh, there was yeah, you could just tell there were too many moving parts, and it wasn't clear. The idea yeah, wasn't clear when they unveiled the custom logo at the beginning. Even before I'd seen the movie, I was like, "This is not going to end well." Yeah, this well, is hubris. I, that was I was like, "Wow, they're really calling their shot." Yeah, I was, guys, I was there was like, going to there okay, was going to be a hubris. whole universe of darkness, <laughs> and now we don't get to see it. Yeah. The, the Dark Universe logo was like the person at the dock outside the Titanic saying, this is unsinkable! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, oh, then, you're oh, doomed no. to yeah. fail from that point on. Yeah, kinda. <laughs> All right, anyways, keep going. Buckle up and ride along as our heroes track down a map that's hidden behind a key, which they need to open some books. I think this may be the Book of the Dead. While their ancient foe tracks down some body parts, <laughs> which he needs to find some jars for. A lot of jar oh, 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 so many jars. Love which jars. He needs to bring back his lover. <laughs> and Rachel Weiss, by the way. Uh, <laughs> Plot doesn't really matter. Egyptians? Though, which are yeah, really half Egyptian. Is the Trump? Playing an Egyptian in this film? No, I didn't know Only that. Only half. This Only is half Egyptian. This is a this is a uh, an Aloha situation that yeah, I was yeah. not aware of. No, full Aloha. Wow. She's oh, got a whole story. Her her father was a great archaeologist who loved ancient Egypt, and so he married an Egyptian. He loved it so woman. much he married it. Yeah. <laughs> if you love ancient Egypt so much, why don't you why marry, he marry it? it? He yeah. literally yeah. married a pyramid. <laughs> Have <laughs> you seen it. that documentary about people who fall in love with inanimate objects? Yes, yes. yes. That, that lady that married her, yeah. yeah, that lady that married her boat. Yeah, mm-hmm. or just a yeah. guy who humps his car. So, so that was Rachel Weisz's father. So she's half pyramid. <laughs> uh, no, but they just on my mother's side. They just my throw mother's that side. out like she's not the whitest lady on planet Earth. And it's supposed to connect her. Like, is she a descendant of uh, his right. lover? No, I think that's the idea. Is that that's why he immediately identifies her as right. like the vessel for an oxygen. Which you to come don't back. need at all. No, because it's Rachel Weisz, and she's. <laughs> Beautiful. And if you woke up after many thousands of years and were like, I need my lady to be in another lady's, she'll do. <laughs> like, you don't need yeah, a bunch of like, no there me. was a prophecy in a bloodline. Well, like, this, you guys didn't watch. Mummy Returns really dives full bore yes. into Ugh. that, where she's actually the resurrection of Nefertiti. That's oh, right. Wow. And like, there's oh, God, whole... all of the Mummy 2 just hit me again. They have a kid, it's <laughs> yeah. terrible. Oh, oh yeah. God. Oh, yeah. But the, the whole thing is like Nefertiti and Anax and the Moon were alive at the same time uh, and hated they were rivals. Uh, and so that, that all plays out in Mummy 2, which is very heavily about like, let's put Rachel Weiss in Egyptian clothing and make mm. her look ancient Egyptian. We could have done and then all a kid of the looks Mummy at the films, camera and goes, but we value our sanity. Yeah, yeah I'm kind of glad they're not very good after this one. And quite frankly, our time. And our time. Yeah. <laughs> we got some big lifts coming up. Got some yeah. One, one mummy. On. You get one mummy. One mummy. <laughs> one mummy at a time. And you, you like get, it. You're going to get a lot of other things. Trust us. Yes. But you get one mummy. One mummy. Keep going. A lot of characters. Us. Till next summer when we do the movie the too. Violence. <laughs> Very. Oh, the yeah. brutal non-stop <laughs> violence. 
Oh, this is the Indiana Jones trick. Don't yeah, show blood. I must have been scarred wow. at this, this point really when I saw it, because I remember the bugs being the most disturbing thing to me. Meanwhile, everyone's getting mowed down. <laughs> <laughs> Just a lot of hey, people getting no shot. Blood, so bring the kids. Why are your eyes closed, Billy? <laughs> there aren't even any brains on the floor. Stop crying, or I'll make you watch the Scorpion King. I don't believe this. This is from a porn. This is from a cin uh, Cinemax porno. Oh, yeah! yeah. <laughs> it's not a real movie. It's not. I don't believe you. I don't. Uh, keep it's going, a fun JT. movie, though. Keep going. No, you gotta see the Scorpion King. <laughs> Dune Patrol. Hey, God of War. Dune Patrol. Courage the Cowardly Dude. Darth Plagueis the Dry. Court Russell. After Effects, Sand Texture. A Shadow with the Face of Stannis Baratheon. That's my favorite one. And Khakis. A lot of Khakis. A lot of Khakis. 1001 Arabian Whites. Arabian Whites. Since we know the mummy is scared of cats, why don't all the heroes just defeat him by covering themselves in cats? I'd watch Brendan Fraser in a cat suit. That's a good question. Why yeah. don't they just make the just whole movie out of the cats? Yeah, what's the deal? <laughs> Not enough cats. <laughs> Tie two cats together, cat chucks. <laughs> Fight the mummy with the cats. <laughs> that would be your choice as cat chucks? Yeah. 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 Man, people people wouldn't screw with you at cat chucks. Just swing at a cat that's tied to another cat with all those but claws. The swinging would awful. be tough because the claws would hit you just as much. I'd want for our survival day. <laughs> I'd want a cat staff, uh, like a bow staff with cats like, like on either Arya's end. Yeah, like an Arya and a potential cats. cat staff. Yeah. <laughs> That's how I'd fight the mummy. Fair. Yes. How um, would you fight the mummy? <laughs> how with would, cats. What would you Maybe do with the cat? Leave in the comments cat? below. <laughs> Be sure to smash that subscribe button. Smash that bell. Ring that bell. Smash but now Rick's button. got the all new anti mummy cat van. Uh -huh. Cat cannon. <laughs> <laughs> Arr, I'm in hotel. Uh oh, it's Rick's catapult. <laughs> ah, there it is. Uh, what else is there to say about the mummy? Um, a fun film. Fun was had by all. I like mm. rewatching it. I like writing about it. Yeah, it was. A, it's fun to revisit. And uh, I also recommend Stephen Summers' movie before this, Deep Rising. If you guys haven't seen it, is a really ridiculous monster movie. Mm. Uh, Treat Williams and a crew. I believe they're like a salvage crew, and they find this ship that they're attempting to salvage, but it's got a tentacle monster in it. You had me, mm. Treat Williams. Uh, and it, it all. It, 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 the guy. Uh, the cowardly Belloc guy yeah. in this is also in that as like the same exact character. Is he a coward? He's very he's very scared of the tentacle monster. You know who that is though, and I couldn't place it to the whole movie, and I was just like, why do I? Why is this guy? Kevin why, is he, why is he pathetic to me? He's the guy in There Will Be Blood who shows up and says that he's uh, Daniel Day Lewis's right. brother. Yeah. Oh. Um, and it just like goes oh, and gets high and yeah. drunk and uh, yeah, I was just like, why is this guy? Why am I not laughing at him as much as I should? And I realized it was because of the darkness and wow. pathos <laughs> that I remember because There Will Be Blood's one of my favorite movies. And like, oh yeah, oh. it's the brother from There Will Be Blood. <laughs> yeah. Um, but speaking of cowards, it reminds me of a deleted scene we have. Mm, Let's watch those deleted it. scenes. On a quest to plunder another culture's sacred artifacts, while well, for forcing the locals to do all of the dangerous work. I think perhaps we should let the diggers open it. So, that's played as a joke. This 20 year old movie isn't aging that well. Oh or rather, no 20 plus year old movies are aging well. That's also we true. We would never do anything without the approval of the Senate. I think there's been a mistake. Did you say steak? You're the man now, dog. <laughs> Maybe and the ancient Egyptian priest who was so hated by the pharaoh, he gave him superpowers? <laughs> also, why put a lock and key in a sarcophagus? You're just begging for someone to release him. <laughs> what happened to murder? Does murder not work mm -hmm. anymore? Mm -hmm. Starring Sandblast from the Past, The Page Master, Chickapedia, The Devil's Advocate, Simon Fez, Jarhead. Hey. And yeah. industrial like light and tragic. I like it. Right? Tragic. tragic. <laughs> sand on the run. <laughs> I should have made a sandstorm joke. Another Hello. day. Home die another day is good. We have to know. You have day. to know yeah. from the movie. Once again, proving he's the king of awkward hand gestures. I'm so glad story. he's back, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> you know, most movies only have one cowardly sidekick, but the mummy ups the ante with three. I guess it was a special request by Brendan Fraser. Coward! <laughs> That's a, a long yeah, road to walk long, to get to that clip launch. <laughs> long way around, but makes me makes me chuckle every time. It's fun, I, I, 
The thing is, I can tell how well you know that movie, The School Ties. Yeah. I yeah. can tell how well you know that movie because in the first draft of the script, I saw the whole thing, and then it just says Brendan Fraser at the end of School Ties, and yep. I was like, I don't get it. That was a, <laughs> in fairness to me, I'm, I'm, I'm an old guy. That was a very mocked moment from that movie when that movie was relevant. Mm. It's just a long time. It seemed like you, were, it, you might as well have written, you know, this movie would have been better if it took place in... Encino. <laughs> no, we didn't Encino Man clip. We could have. Hey, I'm the Encino, Encino Man. Man. I've never seen Encino Man. Does you've he ever call Encino him, Man? Does he call himself the Encino he Man? He wheezes no. the juice in Encino no. Man. I don't, I don't believe he ever, he really doesn't say very much at all, right? He says, wheeze juice. Yeah. <laughs> he, like, he doesn't say wheeze juice, does he? Yeah. Yeah. He, Polly Shore, well, I Polly imagine, Shore. is in this film. Otherwise, well, yeah. Okay, let me set the scene. <laughs> yeah. Okay, they're at 7-Eleven, yes. and uh, Juice Polly, is in need of Polly Shore, uh, <laughs> Polly, Polly, Polly Shore uh, has, is, has the icing machine going, and he's going, ah. You know what's amazing? And the, the guy who runs the 7-Eleven is the same actor who plays the guy who runs the library wow. in the Oh my god, you're right. Yeah. And <laughs> equally, he is equally a bad I'll stereotype. About that, yeah. Um, it is, and, oh true. god, you're right. And he's like, he's true like, fact. what are you doing? And Polly Shore's like, chill, buddy, we just want to waste the juice, okay? And uh, and he says, "No, wheezing the juice." No, wheeze the juice. And uh, and uh, and uh, Brendan Fraser says, "Wheeze juice, wheeze juice." <laughs> it's a great film. It sounds really good. Um, well, I know what I'm off to do. Uh, watch Encino Man, Dan. Yeah. What's your next Brendan Fraser uh, film you'd like to revisit? Oh boy, how so many. Um, that I can't think of Mon right now. Monkey Bone. Monkey Bone. You guys down for yeah. Monkey Bone after this? Who wouldn't want to be down for Monkey Bone? Yeah. Look, if Dudley Do is wrong, I don't want to be right, man. George, uh, George of the Jungle. Ooh, okay. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. All right, some good stuff. Good filmography. Uh, was, guys, he in, uh, was he in? Uh, uh, was Joe? Joe? Not me. Joe Black. Mighty no. Joe Young. Mighty Joe Young. Was yeah. he in Mighty oh, Joe yes. Young? No. 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 Was Joe versus the King of the Monkeys. No, that's not Max. Uh, Charlie's Theron's in Mighty. She's Joe. in Mighty Joe. He's Gong. not in Congo. Yeah. Does he ever no. fight a monkey? <laughs> that's what I'm thinking. I'm positive he has fought a monkey. It's well, George of the bone. Jungle, maybe. Like, and George of the Jungle. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Two monkey movies. That's pretty good. Yeah. That's pretty. Yeah. Okay. That's where it's coming from. This has been fascinating. This has also been on Australia Commentaries. Lon, Joe, Dan, thank yes. you. Come mm. back next week for something that's going to go real fast. Mm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Real fast. Oh. So, gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.